I'm, I'm really glad to be here. It was a, a bit of a mess to, to come here. I should have been here hours earlier, but nevertheless, I'm right on time, so uh, glad to be here. And uh, let's uh, let's talk let's talk about how to uh, uh, to, to to build uh, 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 common European data space, and, and we will see it's a, it's a matter of uh, compliance and compliance with the DG and the principle of Gaia X. Uh, how does it work? Yeah. So uh, let's start by um, a few words about about Gaia X. Uh, DAOX is a, a French company uh, uh, but who's a, a worldwide rich. Uh, uh, we've been created uh, in 2015. Our sole purpose is to uh, bring to the world data exchange technology. That's our main focus. Uh, we have offices in Paris, Lyon, Montreal, and soon in Tokyo. Uh, we've got a global reach, France, Europe, uh, Japan is actually our second market, uh, but also um, uh, Middle East and and uh, and, uh, and what do you say? And North America. Uh, we've been recognized as a leader, uh, as a, a provider of data exchange technology, and we've been receiving a lot of awards, including uh, uh, by the, uh, uh, the the World Economic Forum. We've been designed a tech pioneer, and we had a chance to um, to give talk. Uh, at, uh, at, uh, at uh, Davos, and it was a, a really great experience. And of course, we're a member of Gaia X, and we're leading the uh, data exchange uh, working group. Uh, we've got customers in a lot of different um, area, uh, with more than 15 uh, different, uh, hmm, sorry, I, I kind of <laughs> run to get there, so let me take my breath. Uh, so we've uh, got a global reach, and we, uh, um, uh, of customer and reference in uh, all these different uh, sector and strategy sector. Um, uh, let me see because I don't have the, the, the slide in front of me. Um, um, the, the data exchange platform is actually something very fundamental. Uh, it's uh, um, uh, it's it's a way to, to distribute. Um, sorry, I just can't see the slide. That's, oh. Maybe that's nicer, but I, I can see. Okay, uh, this is a, a custom branded technology to deliver a SaaS to distribute, source, uh, commercialize uh, data, and, uh, and services uh, to the data uh, orchestrate data ecosystems. Uh, it's a technology uh, that uh, is uh, incorporating governance, uh, uh, meaning uh, control and, and and security, trustability, licensing. And uh, all the, uh, the the regulatory and compliance technology. Um, uh, it's a configurable configura technology uh, with multiple settings, and it's based on on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on business and technology uh, requirements. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I, I really run. I got to take my breath. Uh, Let's talk about Gaia uh, X. Uh, the data exchange has been uh, becoming a, a pillar. It's at the very heart now at, uh, at, uh, uh, at the, 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 the Gaia ecosystem. Uh, we've been a uh, member of uh, Gaia X since day one. Uh, we're also a member of JXFS, the Gaia X Federated Services. And we're also leading the. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and we're uh, leading the, uh, the work on the data exchange services within Gaia X. Uh, we're also a member of other uh, technical and non-technical working group, uh, the architecture working group, and also working with the DSBC. Uh, moreover, we're the technology behind data, iData Hub, which is one of the uh, lighthouse project of Gaia X. So let's have a look at the, the uh, the, the data ecosystem. Here we got uh, the the whole uh, 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 value chain of the data ecosystem. On one side, you've got uh, uh, the acquisition, the pretreatment, the storage of the data. On the other end, you've got the processing, uh, getting inside from the data, and getting business value. 
And at the, at the very center uh, of this data exchange lies the, uh, the data exchange, uh, which is built on four pillars. The first one being uh, the technical exchange of the data itself. The second one being licensing, then uh, the, the, the business model, and then the compliance. Uh, all these comes to define what we call a uh, trusted data transaction. Uh, let's focus on what we did on the GAIA-X uh, data exchange uh, service working group. This is a working group that's been created uh, a little over uh, a year ago. And uh, I had a chance to, to lead this working group. And this is a, a working group which is also co-led by uh, Stefan Schleibutz uh, from IDSA. And uh, we're uh, focusing on several topics. The first one is to define the, uh, the vocabulary of uh, the data exchange, uh, then all the requirements to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to build this data exchange, to build data, uh, data value. Uh, then there are all the subject of interoperability. Uh, then there are uh, the subject of licensing and policies. Uh, and then come the, the subject of uh, uh, discoverability. Um, we've been working on that topic for uh, over a year now, and uh, for the uh, last DGI Summit in Paris, uh, we delivered for the first time the specification of data exchange uh, services. So, uh, um, well, the, the screen has gone off, so I cannot see my screen uh, anymore. Uh, nevertheless, um, so what uh, what we have inside the, uh, the uh, this specification uh, is the. Uh, uh, I just cannot see the, the screen anymore. I don't know. It just cut off. Sorry about that. So maybe I, I'll try to, to continue uh, having a look at the uh, other slide. So uh, what we did uh, inside uh, uh, the, uh, this first iteration of the specification is first to define the vocabulary. What is data? What is metadata? What is a participant? Uh, what is a data consumer? Uh, what is a data provider? And so on. And then we defined uh, all the uh, different services around uh, these components. And we also defined uh, uh, a conceptual model that we declined later on uh, into uh, um, an operational model. Uh, and uh, let's, let's get a little further on, on that topic. I, I won't go into the detail of the, uh, uh, of the conceptual model because it'll uh, too complex to, uh, to explore here, but it's really at the art of what we delivered. Uh, this is, the, uh, for the first time, the, the specification of what uh, actually is uh, um, data exchange within GIAX, defining the stakeholders, uh, defining the, the data catalog, uh, defining data products, uh, how to do uh, um, licenses, terms and conditions, how to, to build uh, contracts, uh, how to uh, uh, manage uh, login feature and trustability, uh, how to uh, handle uh, data consent and authorization. Um, and this is for the first time what we, we, came, uh, what we came with. And this is something that's been completely defined. And uh, we're also behind that, defining all the different uh, self between uh, behind the, uh, the participants, between, be, behind the data products, uh, behind the contracts, and so on. And based on that, we go a little further uh, and develop uh, um, an operation model to express how the flows goes between the participants up to the uh, exchange of data. Um, so uh, all these have been uh, included into the various GAIX publication. Uh, of course, their uh, contribution on the GAIX uh, architecture, uh, on the trust framework, 
uh, via the definition of the ontology for that I change. And then, of course, uh, within the first publication of uh, the data exchange services uh, document. Um, what are we working on right now? So this has been a, a, a tremendous work uh, with a, a lot of participants. Uh, but now we're want, wanting to go further than the first uh, specification that we had in the first iteration of the documents. So right now we're uh, working on, on these topics. First, uh, consent management and authorization management. We want to go a little further and uh, tackle complex mechanisms uh, behind concept management and authorization management. Uh, we are working on uh, the control vocabularies. Uh, we are working on data resources and data catalog. Uh, we are working on contract negotiation. And there is a, a specific uh, topic within the, the working group to make sure that uh, what we do in this working group is also uh, done in collaboration with the other uh, working group. Uh, uh, the, the, the architecture working group, the technical committee, uh, the, the ICAM working group, and so on. We want to make sure that what we define within this working group is also working with the other one to, to be something that is consistent. Uh, let's pause a moment, and uh, if you remember well, uh, uh, one of the very first slides I presented, uh, uh, the, data, the data value chain. And one of the uh, key centers was trusted data transaction. Uh, we want to, to go a little further than just defining with slides what it means. And that's why we're, uh, uh, we're the initiator of a, a collaborative, uh, a normative process on trusted data transaction. Uh, actually, it's been kicked off uh, last week. Uh, this is a, um, a, a long process led by the sense of And uh, as a contributor, as a, sorry, as a proposer, uh, there is a DAOX, but also uh, uh, TNO and, uh, and Fine Offer. And we're gathering a lot of other uh, participants, uh, such as Microsoft, uh, uh, BDVA, uh, Up One, IDATA, uh, and IDSA, of course. So this is an ongoing process. We just started uh, the first uh, uh, kickoff meeting last Friday. And you're all welcome to participate and to build together a normative way to define what a trusted data transaction is, so it can be built inside GAIX later on. Let's now focus on uh, um, the, the, the importance of regulation. Um, uh, as, new, as you know, Europe has been uh, uh, always leading in terms of data, first with the, uh, with the GDPR, and it's been extended to other uh, 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 other topics uh, non concerning uh, personal, uh, personal data. So there are two uh, main um, regulations, uh, which is the Data Governance Act and the Data Acts. Uh, the first one being published, and the other one uh, will be uh, still working on, but it's, uh, uh, it's been proposed by the Commission uh, in February 2022. Uh, those two uh, regulations uh, are going to have a major impact on the, on the industry, on the data economy. Uh, this is why uh, it's a very important input on all the work that we're doing inside the, uh, the data action working group, but also in the other uh, technical and non-technical working group. We have to take into account all these terminology and regulation and to build it inside what we do uh, inside GAIAX. Uh, without these compliance, we cannot build the data economy. Um, that's why it's so important, and this schematics somehow uh, some of the things. Uh, you've got the, uh, the regulatory framework, uh, uh, the data governance I, the DGI, and so on. Uh, you've got technical framework, uh, what is done inside GAIS, but also in other uh, technical associations. And you've got uh, compliance framework, labels. All of these has to be build together in order to build uh, a solid, sovereign, transparent, uh, transparent, transparent uh, data economy. And let's conclude by uh, uh, um, a last slide. Uh, as I said, we've uh, been working a lot uh, inside GAIS and inside the uh, data exchange working group. And um, 
as you all know, uh, at the very heart of the uh, GAIA compliance lies the trust framework and the very uh, credential and all that defines and gives trust and control and uh, trustability and sovereignty to what we do inside GAIA. Um, uh, this is what's been defined uh, inside uh, the Titan specification, and we are happy to, uh, to say that we've taken this specification and build it uh, not specification, but technical implementation of this specification uh, within the uh, direct technology, uh, meaning that there is now uh, on the shelf a technology that is uh, GAIX compliant and apply all the principles of GAIX. Thank you very much. Uh, I know it's been a little difficult for me to, to speak because I ran so much. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, and thank you very much.